Okay, so iOS 18.2.1, this software update has been out for over a week now. And as I mentioned, I was going to come back and share with you guys my thoughts on the software update a week after or a little over a week. We talked about iOS 18.2.1. Just a few days ago when Apple initially launched the software, I was gathering some feedback to come back to you guys and share some additional thoughts and also share some of your thoughts on the latest 18.2.1. Now this software update, as I mentioned, was released a little over a week ago on January 6th. And for starters, there's a few things here that are at this point, I guess, unacceptable, I would like to say. So for example, the release notes for iOS 18.2.1, Apple doesn't really specify exactly what bugs are they fixing. So there isn't any release notes here. The only thing we get is this update provides important bug fixes and it's recommended for all users. And now over the past seven to eight days that I've been using this software on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, by the way, I've also been testing iOS 18.2.1 on this iPhone XR that you see here. I like to test older devices as well. So just keep in mind that I've been testing multiple devices. The iPhone XR here you see running iOS 18.2.1. I've been testing iPhone 15 Pro Max and so forth. And I have a lot of feedback to share with you guys. But we'll also talk about the YouTube community poll because that's where you guys also provided some feedback on how the software is working for you. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the camera issues that I've reported multiple times with iOS 18.2. Now, it appears that a lot of these issues continue to occur on iPhone 13, 14, 15, and even the latest 16. Now, I screenshot it last night, an issue with the camera where sometimes when you launch the camera, you get a black camera screen here, so nothing shows up for the cameras. Sometimes when switching between the lenses when launching the camera application, it'll freeze on me. So for whatever reason, we continue to have camera issues on iOS 18.2.1, which is something that continues to be reported. There's also several reports on Reddit for many users also expressing concerns in regards to this issue. So definitely camera issues happening with iOS 18.2, 18.2.1. Again, iPhone 13, 14, 15, and even the latest iPhone 16 models. Now there's also many reports of overnight or standby battery drain issues. Now I wanna go here on YouTube and I wanna to go to my YouTube community poll because as you see here, we have a little over 4,000 votes and most of you guys are actually having a great experience, but you see here that we have a 22% of you guys who are saying that, you know, you have a good experience, but there's still some bugs. And then we have a 7% of you guys are just having a terrible experience with iOS 18.2.1. Now, one of the most popular comments here you see here is in regards to overnight battery drain, as you can see right there. Now, overnight battery drain means if you plug in your iPhone at night to charge, you charge it to like 80, 90, 100%, and then you wake up the next day with about 10% less battery life, 15% less battery life. This appears to be an issue on most iPhones, especially on older devices, running iOS 18.2.1. And again, a lot of you guys expressing those concerns on this YouTube community poll. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that I feel like this battery drain issue may have something to do with third-party background activity for apps. So for example, if I go here into settings on my iPhone, and you may want to do this yourself as well, go under the battery section here, and I want you to tap on that 10-day list right here, go under the show activities, and then take a look at your applications. Now I've noticed that specifically Facebook applications like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, these apps continue to run in the background. Take a look at this WhatsApp running for more than four hours in the background over the past 10 days. That is kind of insane. So imagine having three, four, five apps doing this constantly every single day over the past 10 days. I mean, that could really be a battery drain on your device as well as Instagram. You see here, Instagram's also running in the background and things like that. Obviously, some apps do run in the background like GPS or Google Maps and things like that because you sometimes run those applications purposely in the background, but some apps can actually be running in the background without you even knowing. So I recommend you take a look at your battery stats there and take a look at which applications may be running in the background more than they should be, okay? So just take a look at that.
time. Now, there's also reports of screen on a responsiveness. And this is something that's also here in the YouTube community poll you see here. So sometimes if you're navigating through the OS, you could feel like your iPhone just doesn't respond to the touch inputs on the display. I've also talked about this multiple times. So just keep in mind that iOS 18.2.1 didn't really address most of the concerns and bugs that many iPhone users were reporting. I'm not sure exactly what Apple is fixing here. Now, one good thing that I do want to talk about with iOS 18.2.1 is that we did get a multi-core performance increase, a nice performance increase on the multi-core performance side of things. As you can see here, multi-core performance on 18.2 is 8,218 versus 18.2.1, 8,387. So we did get performance gain, but again, we still have have those camera freezing issues, a black screen when launching the camera. We still have battery drain overnight or standby battery drain, and obviously those unresponsiveness on the touch screen of iPhone users, especially on the newer devices having those touch screen unresponsiveness. Now, let me know what you think in those comments down below because honestly, I was 18.2.1. I continue to have issues. I can't really even run certain applications on older devices. If I try to run a benchmark on this iPhone, I can't get it to work i can't get any benchmarks it'll freeze or crash on me same thing with youtube sometimes and even instagram on older devices so let me know how it's been for you over the past 10 days since apple released the software hopefully we'll see ios 18.3 soon and hopefully that will fix many of these issues but so far it looks like this is somewhat unacceptable at this point so many issues so many problems with ios 18.2.1 that we were hoping for apple to address but are still here thank you for watching I hope you found this information helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.